Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to continue the solo training series from home using a grappling dummy. I'm gonna focus on the gift wrap position from side control. All right, let's get training. All right guys, so we're gonna start from the gift wrap position. So it's a pretty easy position to get into. Now you're gonna trap one of your opponent's arms across his face, control at the wrist, and keep this nice and tight. This is known as a gift wrap position. So I'm gonna show you uh, a couple chokes uh, from here. Maybe a Kimura, and then uh, we'll go from there. So from the gift wrap position, the way I like to get into it is from side control. I like to go chest to chest, isolate this arm across the chest, come around using my cross face. Just kind of feed this here, pull this nice and tight. So he's almost choking himself. Um, an easy choke to get from here is to take your opposite hand, loop it through, and then get it to where your wrist is on the other side of his neck. So what I like to do is turn him to the side, bring my left knee to his back so he can't roll back. I'm gonna release some pressure enough to get my hand in there, get it as deep as I can, and I'm gonna to try to push it all the way through, keeping my hand open, and I'm gonna to start to pull. This is gonna create a carotid choke. So from here, isolated the arm, cross face, feed the hand through, I'm gonna cup at the shoulder, ratchet like I'm like I'm turning, and I'm gonna put my knee behind his back here, release the pressure, punch my hand through, try to get as deep as I can, and then right hand is gonna chop down, left hand is gonna pull for the choke. All right, so from same position, gift wrap. We're gonna work with Kimura. So here, isolate, control here. I'm gonna bring him to his side, and I'm gonna release just enough pressure, and I'm gonna figure four with my opposite hand, here. So now we're gonna work the Kimura grip. So what I wanna do from here, is I wanna keep his tricep close to my chest, here. I'm gonna release this pressure, and go right on top of his face. I'm gonna come up, left, left leg is gonna go over, and I'm gonna pinch. I'm gonna use my whole body to pick this up, and then finish the Kimura. So here, gift wrap, ratchet him over, put my left knee behind his back, release just enough pressure, so if we were going for this, and we couldn't get it, we could just shoot straight across here. Nice and tight. When I bring my elbow over, I'm gonna make sure this is tight to my chest. Here, and I'm gonna collapse all my weight down on it. I'm gonna go to my knees. Left foot is gonna go over, and I'm gonna drop it down, pinch. Use my whole body and my arms to bring this over, and I'm gonna go into a Kimura. All right, so from the same position, gift wrap, we're gonna do a uh, transition to S mount and then work for a bow and arrow choke. So same thing, I trap his arm across, control, cup at the shoulder, I need to get him on his side. I'm gonna transition my, my right leg across to S mount. Here, keeping him nice and tight. So from here, I'm gonna take my right hand and feed his right lapel to my left hand. So I'm gonna be nice and tight, open up this lapel, and feed it across to here, to this grip. I want this nice and tight. I don't want too much slack because it's gonna make it hard to finish. So once I'm here, I'm gonna control the leg. You can grab the pant, you can scoop underneath. Uh, for here, we'll control the pant. I'm gonna lean towards his leg to free my left leg, and then I'm gonna trap both my legs across his shoulder. So here, I'm gonna sit back, control, and this across here, here, and then from this motion, like I'm pulling a bow and arrow back to finish the bow and arrow. So here, I feed it, Put him on his side, transition to S-mount, nice and tight. 
feed right lapel to left hand. Lean. You're going to inherently sit him up just a little bit. Lean. Bring your right left leg over. Control with the shoulder. I'm controlling the shoulder. And I'm pulling leg and lapel. For the finish. All right, so now we're going to use the gift wrap to transition to the back. So we're going to start same position, all my weights on his arm, go underneath, cross face, control, ratchet him up, and from here, I'm going to do an underhook, and I'm going to sit him up here. Now once, once we sit him up, we can start looking to get our hooks in. I'm going to keep this gift wrap this whole time. I can let go of the underhook and start looking for that same Kamar grip here. So what I want to do is I want to set my right hook in first. So I'm going to lean him to his left side here. As I lean, my knee is going to go down. My left knee is going to go down. My right knee is going to come up here. And I'm going to sit him up. And then now I'm going to rotate to my right side and get my hook in, controlling with a nice tight, I'm gonna release this grip and I'm gonna switch my grips. Choking hand is always covered by this one. So when I pull this off, you still got a choking hand here. So gift wrap here, cup, ratchet him over, look for an underhook, sit him up. I'm gonna bring my knee to his back to keep him from getting his back back down. So from here, I can let go of this underhook. I'm gonna figure four. I'm gonna drop my left shin down, bring my right knee up here, rotate him over, step over, bring that hook in. Now I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna to go to my right side here, get my left hook in. All right, so that was uh, some options from the gift wrap position from side control. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you wanna see something. I'm gonna continue this solo training series from home for those who can't train. Remember, this is not a, a substitution for live training. This is just for auxiliary training uh, to sharpen your skills, temporary training, whatever you wanna see the benefit for, but it is very important to continue to train with live partners. Get it, use this tool to get a bunch of reps in on your good side, on your bad side, and, and use it as that. Uh, anyway, so until next time, keep training, and uh, we'll get after it. Thanks.